Another week, another dev blog. We're covering building on walkers this week. It may be short, but it's vital and a massive change to the game. I'll start by saying I know there's going to be a lot of you that likely won't like this change one bit at first. I had I, I, I had mixed feelings on it, but we'll see how it turns out in the end. They not only intend to limit our build capacity on walkers in Season 5, but the freedom of placement when building as well. Each walker will have a set number of walker hardpoints. These walker hardpoints will allow a set object size to be placed into it. These sizes will be backwards compatible, meaning larger sized hardpoints can hold smaller objects such as water bags in a medium slot. Small sized objects will include small chests, water containers, ammo boxes, and stuff around that size. I hate that they don't get specific and just say etc. Just, just type it out. Be as clear and transparent as possible. Medium objects will include medium chests, ballista, scatter shotgun, fiber working station, and keep that in mind. The fiber working station is a medium sized placeable. Large will include larger crafting stations such as furnaces and wood working stations. How? How is a wood working station bigger than a fiber working station? Anyway, large will also include the catapult, battle fan, and their favorite. Etc. I'm guessing large chests and the rocker will be included in this as well, but yeah, you know, they didn't specify. Next, we've got edge. This is self-explanatory. Gun pods, tool pods, climbers, and small remote weapons will be placed on the edge of the walker deck. And then finally, we have decorative. I don't think that really needs to be explained, it's just flashy stuff that won't get in the way of your functionality. Depending on what specialized rig you have equipped will determine what sort of hardpoint layout you have. This will be a new item that will be lootable and tradable in the game. So kind of think of it like a module, it's going to be kind of a similar system. For example, they have what they call the hammerhead rig, which will have three slots for weapons in the front of the dinghy. Specialized rigs will come with specialized traits. Purposes ranging from cargo, war, farming, so on and so forth. They become available once the walker passes a certain upgrade threshold. Once the threshold is met, you can swap new rigs in for different layouts. With all that said, that means no more broken raptor jets or rock and battle fans. Thankfully, a basic iteration of this will be implemented for testing and adjustments will be made to both specialized rigs and base rigs. I mean, at least the specialized rigs will allow some sort of freedom depending on the layouts for them. I have mixed feelings on it, however, I do think it'll be good for the health of the game in the long run. The fixed locations, though, is going to be quite an adjustment. I was okay with limited building space on the walker, but I was not expecting them to go this route. How do you feel about the walker hard points? Good? Bad? What would you suggest they do instead? Or do you think it's a good change? Let me know in the comments down below, in my discord, or live on Twitch. Links are below, along with the link to the original dev blog. Thank you for watching, I'll see you all next week. Make the most of your day.